first we had Lalit Modi, then you had Vijay Malaya, now you have Nirav Modi, drawing huge amounts of money from uh, nationalized banks and then not repaying these banks and then absconding. They abscond from the country before the FIR is filed, clearly with the full knowledge that a case is being initiated. And then they are found in the August company of the Prime Minister and the Finance Minister at the World Economic Summit in Davos, photographed very happily with the Indian Prime Minister. But yet the arm of our law enforcing agencies cannot reach them. This is the loot that is happening under the present government. We were promised a corruption free government, but instead we have a government that is brazenly promoting this sort of crony capitalism whereby thousands of crores are being siphoned off of public money for private profit. You have this deal of the Rafael aircrafts where again the very boastfully the government said we do not have any middlemen any longer. Of course there are no middlemen any longer because the government itself is the middleman. The deal of the Rafael was done in the presence of the industrialist who set up a company five weeks earlier and then thousands of crores worth of this aircraft purchase and maintenance deals were given to that particular company. Now this is the sort of a loot that is taking place at the highest level. When you ask the Prime Minister who are these industrialists whose loans were written off in the last three years more than two lakh crores of rupees. There is no answer, that list is never provided. In fact, when we ask the Prime Minister, who are the industrialists that are accompanying you in the official plane at the expense of the Indian people? There is no answer, that list is never provided. So the country doesn't know who are the industrialists going with the Prime Minister, what are the deals made with these industrialists and the foreign counterparts, who are the industrialists whose loans are being waived and when our own farmers are committing suicide because of debt burden, the government says it has no money to waive their loans, which the finance minister admitted amounts to about 80,000 crores for the whole country. But you can waive more than 2 lakh crores, nearly 3 lakh crores of loans taken by our industrialists and the country doesn't know who these people are. This is something that is not acceptable. The country as a whole will have to rise against such crony capitalism, such loot of public resources and the virtual selling of people's wealth for the profit maximization of few individuals close to the ruling party.